Hey everybody, it's Ori from AstroWeb and I wanted to share with you another tip, another video about Google Analytics and actually in this case, in this video I want to talk about geographic data, looking at the, your actual visitors, their locations and just and more behaviors about different locations. So I just want to give you a little food for thought, not that to, to go too deep into this, but just to explain. So if you log in, first of all, to Google Analytics and you go to the left of the audience tab and you go to demographics and location, um, you're going to have all of the countries and then you can click on the country and then go, go deeper, states, cities, all that stuff. Um, so what I uh, actually wanted to kind of explain and to have you think a little bit about is to figure out opportunities or, or, or some ideas about your traffic, your visitors, and what you can actually enhance in your website in order to make more sales, achieve more goals, or, or do whatever you're trying to do. Uh, spread your knowledge and stuff like that. So um, here what I did is I actually sorted it out by revenue and I'll give you one example or maybe another one and uh, then you can kind of uh, get some more ideas based on that. So it, when I sorted by revenue, um, obviously US were getting the most traffic um, and we're selling the most in US. So the companies based in US they sell um, obviously US people have either free shipping or less shipping costs so it makes more sense that people would buy more. But uh, if you notice here, uh, Canada has a, you know about 1,800 visitors and they sell about $900, which means right here per visit value we have about a 50 cent per visit value. Now I'm, I'm looking for example about the UK and UK has more visitors, 3,000. They sell uh, a, a little more, a little less than half of what uh, Canada sells, uh, but they're but because they have so much traffic and they sell less, they, uh, their per visit value is only 19 cents. So we're doing really awful with UK. Uh, one, of course, because we're in another country and shipping is probably very expensive, stuff like that. So what I want you to do is try, kind of look at the data and try to come to conclusions. So let's take another example and then you'll understand a little better. Australia, for example, okay. Um, has a per visitor value of 78 cents. So you can see um, that number one, the, uh, and the average values are higher, so maybe Australians want to invest more or when they send packages, um, you know, they, they uh, spend more. So that's something for us to know. Maybe we need to focus more on Australians. Maybe we need to create landing pages that, that fit them more or maybe uh, because their average value, they purchase more for more money, Maybe we can actually uh, ease up on the shipping and make it more, more, um, you know, easy for them or more attractive for them to want to buy. And so you kind of want to adjust things based on that. Uh, another idea I like to, to uh, play with a lot is uh, the idea of languages. So um, you can obviously go here to language, but I'm going to stay um, at here. So obviously Germany, most people speak German, um, and what you may want to consider is uh, maybe you can see the average value is, is uh, pretty uh, pretty large. So um, obviously there's only two transactions, so you need to also go with more dates. But the idea is still the same. Maybe you want to create a landing page or a version or, or another store in German if you figure out that your data makes sense. So um, or or you know in Thai or whatever it is. So you know this. Basically, this view of looking at language and looking at location really helps you kind of understand things uh, better. So, again, you know, same thing with, with the language, English, Spanish, stuff like that. So, um, if you come to these conclusions and you actually do the work, let's say you translate it into another, uh, uh, another language, you'll be able to compare the old data with the new one and you'll be able to improve, sell more, do, you know, what you're trying to do for your business. So I uh, hope this kind of uh, helped uh, your gears uh, start moving and uh, let me know if you have any questions about any details or uh, detailed things or maybe more advanced uh, tips. Uh, thank you very much for listening to my video. Thank you.